Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be discussing C# -sharp methods. Okay, so right here I am inside the console application. Now, what is a method? A method it's a way we can, let's say, place our code inside it so we can reuse it again and again. So, like notice uh, that inside here the main. Okay, uh, let's say I wanna define two variables okay let's say x equal five let's say y equal seven okay now what i want to do i want uh, create another variable called result okay and i wanna add x plus y okay now i also want to define uh, other variables let's say z Okay, uh, let's call it eight. Let's call in uh, R. Okay, and let's say it's also let's say it's seven. Okay, and let's define another results. So or we can just recall in the results and say Z plus R. Okay. Now notice with me that we are repeating like the same function right here. Okay. We are adding a variable to another variable and we're just storing the value inside the result okay so we want to create a more reusable way instead of just uh, rewriting rewriting we want to create something that can help us add and subtract or whatever math operation we want in these two variables so now let's go ahead and define a method okay or a function now we're gonna call in the public static now we're gonna talk about public protected and uh, others in the next lecture in the access modifiers lecture okay now we have uh, public static right here uh, static because uh, this is a static method and a static method cannot see another static method okay the static is like keeping the value uh, the same value even if it's called by different uh, let's say methods or classes we're gonna see more about the statics uh, in the next few lectures okay so now we have defined the access modifier we just need the static now we need to call in the return type okay now after the return type let's call it sum okay this is sum and that's how we define a method or a function inside c sharp okay now uh, usually you will not need the static unless you are calling it to a static uh, let's say class or a class static uh, method okay but let's just leave it for now okay so now that's how we define the method we s specify the access modifier okay we can like we can leave it uh, this way it will be private okay but we want to just make it public so any other class will see it we will talk more about the access modifiers now we specified right here okay the return type okay now i uh, avoid return type that's mean this function or method will not return any value okay so that's for the void but we want to do what we want to do a sum so we want to return an integer result okay so now we have here an integer return type and this sum it will send uh, or let's say return an integer value okay now notice that we have an error right here that this does not return a value so we need to return a value okay now before we return a value and specify the return statement notice with me that we have to define some let's say way so we can send the value to the sum function right here so how we can do that we need to define a parameter okay so let's call in x let's call in y okay so we define these parameters parameters it's the value you want to pass to this function so it does operation on them and return it to you okay this is how we define parameters as you notice and every parameter between each and every parameter we need to specify a comma so we can separate them okay now 
what we want to do we want to sum these numbers and return them to this method right here so let's do that let's call in the return x plus y notice that we don't have any error left anymore because we have specified the return statement with adding these two integer so whenever we will call in the sum function we'll pa we will need to pass in the x and y okay and these x and y's will be added it and returned to us so let's do that let's call in the sum okay let's pass in 5 and 4 now notice with me that I'm also when I pass the parameters I have to add a comma between them okay so we have the sum right here and we have the values left right here now notice if I just remove the static it's give you an error it says that you cannot call in uh, an unstatic method in a static method okay or static context so you need to specify the static make sure you do that let's run the application and see our result it should give us uh, oops it should give us nine notice that we have nine value right here and it has added it x and y now the best thing about function is that you can recall them okay so let's do that i will pass in one and four i will say here ten okay notice that i don't have to rewrite the same thing every time like uh, add up this number and that number add up this uh, number add number i just define the method or function okay passing the value and it will be returned to me okay let's run the application notice that it has add all the number for us and we see the value now in the console okay now one thing also we can also call in the same method inside itself okay let me show you how now we have right here the sum right okay what we want to do we want to call in sum okay and pass in x plus y okay notice that we have the ability to call the method itself okay so, so, uh, they call it the fabunic okay but you need like notice that we have a warning right here okay that it will keep calling itself keep calling itself so make sure that you need to specify some let's say condition to stop to stop it from calling itself calling itself so like i can come over here and say if x is a greater than let's say 20 okay return let's call x uh, plus y okay now let me explain the code for you really quick i'm calling the sum function inside itself it will check this condition okay it will keep adding itself up adding itself up until this condition is met which is x is greater than 20 then it will stop from calling itself and return us the value let's try that let's run it oops we have a stack overflow exception okay because we called it many time to itself okay so it did not get add up so we need let's call in x plus equal one okay so this way the x will be incremented and it will be stopped notice that i have the x added up right here and uh, until it has reached the 20 then we have uh, printed out the result okay so that's for the methods i hope you enjoy and find this tutorial useful